My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level. We're stepping inside a lesson now with Matt Huo, a great player from UC Riverside. Matt needed a little bit help with his driver, so I lost a driver in this lesson. Had to give mine away. It happened to fit him better. So hopefully he's getting fit right now for a better one. But we also talked a little bit about some specifics to wedge setup, flighting the golf ball down, the little bit of a knockdown mentality with a tight ball flight. We also talked a little bit about shot shaping and visualizing on the driving range. Matt's swing was very good going into this lesson. He just needed to put himself in an on-course setting even when he's on the driving range. Hope you guys enjoy this lesson. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now here's, here, here's what I would tell you right away. <clears throat> I want to go a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Hop back here for a second. I want to see you just tighten that up big time. Like not, not, not in that, what I mean by you know, get back in here. Still keep it wide and out in front of you, mm -hmm. but much shorter, much shorter, much shorter. So when you watch, when you watch my swing with a wedge, just with a wedge, Okay. I mean, you see how I just got so much more out of that with half the swing you made? Yeah. I mean, it's just so much easier to get that online and short and controlled, tight. Um, a wedge is just, a, and you, we've talked about this, it's just a little bit of a different mentality than hitting an, a normal iron, right? Yeah. You're definitely more down into it, trying to deal off the golf club. You know, I always have at least somewhat of a slight draw sensation when I hit a wedge. Um, it's never good to add loft to an already lofted club, so why would I try to keep the face open? Unless I'm hitting a green side shot, right? So, good. That was a way better mentality. Just got to hit a little tiny draw on the next one. Better there, right? Like right, right there? Yeah. Go ahead to the top. Go ahead and uh, set up like you're going to hit some swings. Go ahead and just take some swings. All the way through. Yeah, start, start back here. It's very important with a wedge to stay centered and stay tight, not have it bobbing around a little bit. I know. That's why I would say start down a little bit more over it then to not promote yourself to do that. You can, you can drop those toes back a little bit and just get a little more on top of it. More of that rather than just kind of... Make sense? Yeah. The wind is a touch. Oh, it is for oh, yeah. sure. And that always makes you want to kind of. Matt sometimes gets. What we're talking about is Matt gets narrow sometimes with his back swing and with the through swing, and everything kind of collapses quickly in here. And that's this look versus really driving in here extending through the golf ball and that's what we're referring to creating width on both sides mm -hmm. of the golf ball I seem better yeah start it right on line it's really good right there. So nice, dude. Yes. 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 It's pretty nice, man, let me tell you. Boom, let's see if it changes this one. Hey, 
Well, yeah, the, what's your shot? That's what I was going to ask you. Because you, you, you have to think about that. Like, I was even throwing, out, throwing that out there earlier when we were talking about it. I was saying, you even have to put it in your mind that it doesn't always have to be a crazy circumstance, right? Back, right, front, left. It doesn't have to be like that. What's it, what if it's in the dead middle and there's just nothing around? Yeah. What do you hit at? Like, what's your shot? You know, so that, that's, what, that's the go-to. That's the one that you feel like I can just hit it simply every single time. Which one do you feel that is? What, but I think you need to, but maybe you have to, maybe what you have to do and maybe your answer is putting a picture, say the, say the yellow flag is right there and it's in the dead middle of the green. Now, maybe think about, okay, you know what? I'm going to put a boundary on that. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to put it in my mind that there's a, there's a OB hazard, you know, sitting right there on like 10 feet left of it and 15 feet right of it's the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to favor just the right side of it because that's my comfortable little shot. But I don't know, maybe create the boundary for yourself. I mean, I created windows. That's how I dealt with, um, I played a couple golf courses when I was playing that you know, I'd go out and prepare and I'm out there on the course. And I'm like, man, you know, I always found it easy Midwest golf and whatnot, tree line where it's just, you can, yeah. And that's not necessarily easy because you can't miss it, but I'm just saying it's easier to be more pinpoint with where you'd like to aim. Mm -hmm. When it's wide open and you're just like, all of a sudden, no boundaries, yeah. it's, you have to create your own windows. And that's where I think it's important for you when you're practicing and you have, and you have a pin dead middle of the green, mm -hmm. you know, still create a little window for yourself and figure out what it is that you like to do to, that you can repeat um, with your ball flight to see that, you know, freeze in that window every single time. Yeah. Okay. Trying to hit it right at the yellow, right? Correct. What kind of shot are you trying to hit? Well, yeah, just put it on the edge of the bunker, then just right of that, and then swing it in there. This guy's put on a clinic today, dude. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Give him that short driver, and uh... yeah, just coming up a driver. Hmm. What does that feel like right there? Other than good. Pretty good. <laughs> what was the word? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Great. I can work with that. All right, buddy. Hey. Good man. Thanks. Appreciate you. Okay. You good? Yep. Good. I think Take the driver. Take the head cover. Use the head cover. Don't Use the head cover. Yeah. Drag it on there. But... Yeah, exactly. It's Tom. Dude, I got signed. Yeah. This is my last, this is my last night with the team, guys. <laughs> Picked up a big sponsorship. We hope you guys enjoyed our lesson with Matt today. What an incredible young guy. Awesome golf swing. Really fun guy to be around. We're looking forward to seeing what the future has in store for him. Any questions you guys have, please ask down below. We'll be more than happy to get back to you. Poor Zach Golf is here for you. Please click the link in our description and pick up your free video course. Thank you guys so much.